and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to do quick, easy curls on your hair with a straightener. I know we all have had some troubles making curls with a straightener. I sure have had some troubles. Couple years ago, I still couldn't figure out how to do curls with a straightener. So if you have had similar problems or you just kind of don't get the hair as you would like it to be, I'm going to teach you how to achieve this hair that I'm wearing at the moment. And for my uh, bob haircut, this really takes less than five minutes to do. So it's really easy, effectful, cheek looking, posh looking, beautiful. It will take you a couple times to get the hang of how you twist and curl your hair. But when you have curled your hair a couple times watching this video, you will get the hang of it. So I'm going to start from the very beginning so you know all the steps to getting this voluminous, loose, relaxed, curled look and you will learn how to achieve this hair look. So I just washed my hair and put some clothes on and I don't have any makeup, nothing. So my hair looks like this after I have washed it. It's not looking pretty. This is the hair that I get when I wash my hair. It's like all detangled like in here. So the first step that I always do, I put on some kind of like cream to moisturize my hair. I have used shampoo and conditioner, but as you can see, it's not enough. It looks like this. So I just run it through my fingers like that. And after that, it's time to brush my hair. And because my hair doesn't want to keep a curl without support, I use a hair mousse. And this is my favorite so far. This is Gudrin's Muato Strengthening Mousse. So this is like a medium support mousse. And I really like this. This doesn't make my hair look queasy. It doesn't make your hair like thick or like too hard to style afterwards and it also has good support so i'm using this and i'm using it like like five pumps and then i just run it through my fingers and and then i just blow dry my hair and what I like to do when I blow dry my hair, I kind of don't have time to use like a brush to blow dry my hair. So I just need the volume in here. So what I do, I blow dry my hair, my hair down. It doesn't have to be anything more fancy. You just have to get the volume so you can curl it afterwards. So I have the Dyson. I just put like a medium blow and medium heat. And this is how my hair looks afterwards. I will now go do my makeup and I will be right back to show you how I curl my hair with a straightener. Now my makeup is on and it's time to start curling my hair. So I like to do my curls more like loosen, relax and more like natural looking. So I like to curl some pieces inwards and some outwards so it looks like relaxed and it kind of doesn't matter how you curl your hair on the back but the front pieces on both sides are the most important ones so when your hair is curled the front pieces don't fall onto your face and it's more manageable if you do it in certain way so i will start by like leaving some hair in here like not too thin but there should be some hair in there and also in the back and then in here I will take much more up 
So I will be putting up everything else, suck it in and put it in some kind of knot. And then you need a clip and you just put it up like that. I have this straightener from Moser. This is Moser Gerastal Pro uh, straightener. And what is the most important thing when doing curls with straightener is that you keep it in this direction. You don't put it in like here or here or here. It's always straight up. I like to curl most when I do my curls like this. You can make curl like this too, but I really like for a long pop the curl that you do like this. And I also like to keep the ends kind of straight. When I'm doing my curls outwards, I like to do the end of the hair straight. And when I'm doing uh, inwards, I like to do it all the way down so I don't leave like any straight ends and that just looks the best for me but let's start I like to take a piece from up all the way down that's how you don't leave like any straight pieces underneath because those are really hard to curl afterwards in time you will also learn that uh, from down to up and it doesn't have to be straight. That is not the point in here. We're going to open up the curls later on, but um, I like to take like pieces like this. This piece, I like to curl outwards. So I'm going to take it from here and pull it upwards and just pull it slowly, slowly. And I like to put my hand in here. So when the curl loosens up, it doesn't fall into the straight hair because that will cause that it will take some of the straight pieces along with the curl and you end up with straight hair in some points. So I like to keep my hand with this and take another piece. And when I have the other piece here, I can just loose that up and then I like to do it in the other way, so inwards. And just keep the straightener upwards and just keep rolling. And when you are, and you can just leave the end straight, like turning it backwards. Another piece, then you can loose this up and just do like every other curl another way it doesn't have to be like that strict but try to keep some kind of order and just keep the straightener up and pull the hair through and sometimes I like to do like straight ends sometimes don't I don't and the back hair is going to be much harder to do because it's a lot shorter as you can see watch your scalp and your fingers So now I'm like in the front piece. So you're going to do this outwards. So this way. And straight end. Like that. Then inwards. And just keep the straightener upwards. And this is inwards, so all the way through and outwards. And you want to take like a 160 degree turn and then backwards when you want the straight end. And I, on the back, I like to put my straightener like this and then I turn it this way. It's just much easier to do. And then I turn it like that way. And then this is kind of too short to curl. Like this part you can curl, but the end of it you can't. But that doesn't matter because you're going to put something on top of it because there's a lot of layers. So I'm just going to curl what I can. 
And this is going to be the side that will have a lot more hair because I like to part my hair up in here. So just keep that in mind when you're doing the curl. If you don't want it to start from the parting, you're going to have to like do a little bit of a straight and then turn the straightener and then do it like somewhere around here. But if you want it to be curled all the way here, you can also do that. But I like to do a little bit of a straight around here and then start to go a little bit lower. But now we're going to take all the hair from this side till the parting. So in here, like that, from the back, like that, and then over here, like that. And this is going to leave two parts from this side in here. First piece and just 180 degrees turn and just pull it all the way through. And you can also just like turn it around a couple times. Like every other curl inwards and every other outwards. One hundred one hundred and eighty degrees and then just pull it and then the end straight. So inwards and all the way through. And then for the last piece, so I just want to bar in this from the center like that and put the top piece in here. Then I have this part so I will just put this in half. And I do a little bit of it straight and then I turn it and 180 degrees and all the way through. like that and it's really curled at this point but it will loosen up a lot and then this piece a little bit of a straight then 180 degrees and then pull all the way through and i like to make my straightener go where the hair should go so I'm pulling it downwards and then turning it around. So this is the raw version after curling. And in this point, I'm going to let my hair cool down and I will twist the curls in the way they are turning at the moment. So the front piece in here and pin them in here because this will make the hair lot long lasting if you let them just like hang they will loosen up even more but if you twist them and put it up like this and let them cool down like this they will be a lot more long lasting now it is time to style my hair the way it's going to look at the end but one thing that i want to say is that because i blow dried my hair uh, I don't have to use any like dry shampoo, hair powder, texturizing spray or any of those. Of course in the second day hair I will use those. So now I'm just going to brush my hair through with my fingers and I'm going to do that more on the back and sides and not that much in the front. And just flip it like that. And then for the back, I have a circle in my hair on the back. The hair wants to go like this and it doesn't want to go like that as I would want it to go. So what I want to do is that I want to make this part more rounded. So in here, a little bit more rounded. So I'm going to need a comb like this and some hairspray and I like to use a medium or light hairspray because everything else is just unnecessary for this kind of 
hairstyle and I might want to take more wider piece on it so that it covers the circle so like this and I'm just going to put some texture to it like that put it on the front take another piece and then put on some hairspray and now you want to make it blend in here so you're just going to come that with your fingers if you don't want your hair to separate like this the first pieces <laughs> tend to separate you want to brush like the first 15 centimeters nothing below that so the curl doesn't open and that really helps the hair not to separate in here throughout the day and then you just want to put on some hairspray like this size normally needs more volume because this has so much volume because it, there is so much more hair so normally I just do like this it doesn't need any like hairspray or anything it's just like you can puff it through and it goes more like than that and for the front, front piece uh, some hair tends to leave from the curl around here and I want to smooth that out so what I normally do is that I put my finger underneath the curl and I spray it like that and then I smooth it out with my fingers and do it again So you can really like make the little individual hair stick to the curl and I'm not going to put hair spray anywhere else it's unneeded if I have second day hair then I will maybe put some uh, hair powder or hairspray uh, in sections underneath my hair over here maybe a couple times there but because my hair is just washed that is just unnecessary and it will make the hair more crazy looking tomorrow so I don't want to do that and I like the front curl going like this it doesn't fall to your face that easily and it sticks to here much easier so this is how I curl my bob with a straightener in less than five minutes so it's really easy really quick it takes a couple times to get it right at the first and you will get much quicker on it when you have done it couple times so it's really easy really quick you just have to practice how you keep the straightener like this and turn it 180 degrees and pull it through that is the only thing that you have to think when you do the curls and i'm certain you can learn it too just watch the video over and over again and do your hair at the same time and you will get the hang of it so hopefully these tips helped you to learn how to curl your hair with a straightener i really hope that you enjoyed this video and hopefully we will see on the next one bye